My dear friend, I greet you in the name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. I hope that all is well with you and your family. There is in the Old Testament a crime committed by the Israelites over and over again. And indeed, this crime is found among God's people today, or God's so-called people. Let us try to identify that crime against God. In Commandment 4, the Bible says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Now listen to verse 11 of Exodus 20. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. We have heaven, we have earth, we have the sea or water. God made things in heaven, he made things on earth, he made things in the water. Now we go to commandment two. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. This is precisely the scope of God's creation as mentioned in commandment four. Heaven, earth, the water in commandment four. Heaven, earth, the water in commandment two. The difference is in commandment four, God is the one making in commandment two, God tells us, do not function as a creator and make things and then use those things as your gods. This is the crime of all crimes against God. What is it? Taking the things of creation and placing them above God, the creator. Paul refers to this as the crime of crimes among the heathen. Romans 125, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator. In commandment 4, we have the activities of the creator. In commandment 2, we have God prohibiting and banning the activities of people trying to function as their own creator. My listening friend, when we take the things of God and place them above God, we are committing the crime of all crimes against our God, our Creator. In March 321, March the 7th, 321, the Emperor Constantine passed a law. He made a law. He created a law. Constantine, being a human being, was part of creation. He passed a law that Sunday was to be a day of rest and Saturday a day of work which is exactly opposite to what God arranged. Most Christians follow that man's law instead of God's law. In other words, they are putting the creature above the creator. Let me say that again. When we accept Constantine's law that made Sunday a day of rest and Saturday a day of work, we are placing the creature above the creator. And this is idolatry, and this was the crime of crimes the Israelites committed against God. My listening friend, let us not commit that crime. Let us not put the creature above the creator. God made the things in heaven. He made the things on earth. He made the things in the sea. He is to be worshipped. His word is to be followed. Let us not do as Constantine said and place a man's law above God's law. This is idolatry regardless of how we try to pass it off as a genuine worship. As you keep the Sabbath holy, remember, serve the Creator and not the creature. Make no gods, whether they are of stone, or of wood, or of gold, or they are non-material, whether that god is your career, or your intelligence, or your money. Place nothing above God. May the Lord bless you and your family as you keep the Sabbath of the Creator holy.